Hey everyone, it's Rachel from Desert Blossom Crafts back with a new video. Today I want to show you five of my favorite yarns for crocheting dishcloths. I'm going to be releasing quite a few dishcloth patterns this year, so I want to show you some of my favorite yarns to use, and I will also show you the patterns that go along with them. So, first up, we're going to get straight into it. This is a very well-known dishcloth yarn, but I want to share some buying tips with you today on it as well. You've probably heard of Lily Sugar and Cream. This is one of my favorites. Let's just say it's popular for a good reason. This is a really great dishcloth yarn. I've used it to crochet a lot of dishcloths and I'm using it to crochet a bunch of dishcloths for some spring and summer craft shows. But I don't know if you've noticed, but the price is way different at Joann's and Michael's. So at Michael's, I got this ball from Michael's and it is $1.99 for 120 yards. 2.5 ounces and there's the yardage right there. That's a pretty good deal. Then you go to Joann's and you see they actually have what's called a super size ball and it has more yardage. It has 200 yards, but I believe it is $4.99 in store. I could be misspeaking. It may be $4.49. All I know is I've noticed the online prices are not the same as the in-store prices in a lot of cases. So online, you can get the super size ball for $3.99, but in-store, I'm pretty sure, at least in my store, it is more expensive. So you might go straight for the Joann's because it has more in it, but I did the math on the exact amount per yard it actually is. And let's say Michael's had a 200 yard ball there. It would actually be only $3.20 for that ball based on the price for this ball. So this is actually a better deal if you buy it at Michael's for $1.99. So that's just a random tip. Um, I have been scouring all the stores for dishcloth yarn, like I said, because I'm crocheting lots of them for craft shows. So now for the dishcloth that I have designed so far that uses this yarn, we have a pretty seed stitch dishcloth. This pattern is not out yet as of recording. I do hope to get all of these patterns out very soon. So when they are out, all the links will be down in the description box next to the links to the yarn. So from this point out, I'm not gonna say whether it's re released or not. You can just check down there to see. But this is a super simple but textured dishcloth. I really love it. And I'm gonna be selling these at the craft shows. So there is our number one. Now, next up, we just have to talk about We Crochet's Dishy Yarn. Unfortunately, I don't have the label anymore, but this is another worsted weight cotton. The last one was worsted weight too, I forgot to say that. But it is actually thinner than Lily Sugar and Cream. It's actually really interesting. So I wanna compare these two right next to each other so you can see. Okay, so if I can get it to focus, there we go. So you can see the dishy actually has like a tighter twist to it. And as a result, it is a lot thinner. And it is definitely noticeable when you make a dishcloth. I don't have a dishcloth made in dishy right now, but it look the stitches definitely do look smaller in it. So I do really like this yarn. It's just different from Lily Sugar and Cream. It will get you a different look on your dishcloth. Now this is only available online, but We Crochet is one of my absolute favorite online stores and I highly, highly recommend them. Okay, and thirdly, we have Crafter's Secret Cotton. This is a yarn that is only found at Hobby Lobby. I find that it's very, very similar to Lily Sugar and Cream. It has the same exact yardage and ounces. To me, the main perk to buying this is they do have some extra color options that I like a little bit better. So for that reason, I would buy this one over Lily Sugar and Cream. It is pretty reasonably priced, $2.29. And if you shop at Hobby Lobby's every other week, 30% off yarn sale, you can get it for only $1.60. So that's another little tip for you. So the dishcloth that I have using this yarn is this one right here. This is a corner to corner dishcloth. And yes, this is a label I made to go with it. This is only available in my dishcloth ebook, 
which I will have info about in the description box as well. But let me take the label off and just show you the dishcloth. Here we go. So it's just made from corner to corner stitches with some pretty stripes in there. Number four. Now this is a scrubby yarn. You can use it to make dishcloths or you can use it to make smaller dish scrubbies. I love it personally for both, but especially for the smaller scrubbies. This one is pretty well known. You've probably seen it before. Red Heart Scrubby. It comes with 92 yards in a 3.5 ounce skein. And as you can see, this one is definitely very different. It is designed actually to be perfect for scrubbies. So all this stuff here is perfect for scrubbing really dirty pots and pans. I do wish that this yarn came in more colors. There are different options at Michael's and Joann's, so you may want to check that out. Um, but the price is the same at both stores for this one, so that's good. <laughs> the pattern I've released for this yarn is this cute square scrubby. As you can see, I use it a lot. It's actually still wet and a little bit dirty. It works extra well because I've made it double thick, so these are actually two squares that are then sewn together, and it just makes for an extra durable scrubby. Now, last but certainly not least, again, I don't have the label for this one, but it is called Yarn Bee Scrubology Yarn. This is a new yarn I have just discovered, and I've never seen anything like it before, and I love it. So this is a bulky weight scrubby yarn. And let me just zoom in on the yarn a little bit. There we go. So you can see it's almost like it's got this netting around the outside. It looks kind of soft, but it's not. It's actually like a rough, scrubby yarn, and it works super well. And if you look at the inside right here, it kind of has this inside stuffing inside that netting on the outside. So again, this is Yarn Bee Scrubology. Here's just a close-up look of it. And the pattern I have for this one is another scrubby. This one is round. I can work these up super fast in like eight minutes. They're super, super quick and easy. We've got a round of double crochet and two rounds of single crochet. These also work really well for those messy pots and pans. They're kind of my new favorite thing, and I'm going to be selling these at craft shows as well. So there you have it, five of my favorite dishcloth and scrubby yarns. I hope you guys learned something new in this video. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'd love to hear. I'd love to hear what your favorite one of these is, if you've used any of them before as well. And again, all the links to the yarns and the patterns mentioned will be down below in the description box. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!